Hi, this is Steve Walton from Tropic Heating and PatioHeat.com, specializing in sales, service, and custom designs for residential and commercial outdoor patio heating. Please tap that like button if you find this video helpful. It helps others like you find our channel. Thank you. All right, so here we have a residential application, and um, we'll go ahead and take a look at There's actually two different areas in this property. Uh, there's going to be this loggia area here, and then this courtyard area over here. Um, loggia area, there's going to be a sliding door here, window, fireplace, and there are a couple of can lights up on top, but they did mention that they might be able to um, alter the locations of that, and that might be important for this application. Um, over here in the loggia area, we have a window. There might be a window over here as well, and then doorway, doorway, and um, fireplace here. All right, so let's go ahead and look at the overall dimensions. So dimension wise, I have uh, 33 6 by 12. I have two different heights here. Um, the soffit uh, elevation, I'm gonna say, is about 9 2 is what I understand. And then 10 foot to the ceiling up here. And I think that is about it for that side. Here we have uh, 24 2 by 19. And then I just put an arbitrary height of 11, 11. Um, it could be lower, it could be a little bit higher. If it's lower, we'll talk about that in a minute. Um, and then uh, yeah, there's a section of the patio or this um, area that has a covering over it that the rest of the residence actually is on top of. So um, I do have all the heights of the windows and doors at uh, eight feet. These are all sliding doors and they slide left and right. So that will not uh, protrude into the patio. That's also an important aspect. And um, one other important aspect is this eight feet. Um, if this distance is greater than eight feet, that's fine. If it's not greater than eight feet, then we need to come up with a shorter unit to place in here. Um, so just keep that in mind, minimum eight feet there. All right, let's see if there's anything else that we need to discuss here. I think that's about it right now. So let me just turn that off. All right, so you might have noticed already that I've placed um, four 6,000 watt units in a flush mount kit. Um, one of the uh, issues that we might have is the location of the trusses or um, wooden beams up here. Let me just uh, turn this off for one second. Let's see, where is it? There we go, sorry about that. All right, so what I have here, the, the customer did say they were 11 and 7 eighths. I'm guessing these are probably 11 7 eighths by two. So um, I do have them on 24 inch centers. There's plenty of room between that for a placement of a flush mount kit. Here you'll see the kit, um, uh, well this is not the complete kit. What you have is you have the flush mount frame and then you have the heater itself. Okay, so here's the, the heater and this is the flush mount frame. And then the contractor installer would put in a 7 8 drywall, one hour rated uh, drywall finish into the space. Um, so what you might do is block this um, area, well, at least block it from here to here, here to here, and then install your one hour fire uh, rated um, drywall finish. And that needs to be on all five sides. So left, you know, front, back, left, right, and top. And then the bottom would be obviously hollow. Now you can finish this um, all the way up to one half inch away from these holes on um, around the whole size so it could be a stucco finish all the way up or you can just place it like I have here which is a uh, finished on the surface so this flush mount kit would just essentially be um, attached to the ceiling and you'd see the whole entire uh, flush mount kit. I like the uh, other option better it just looks a little bit nicer so all right and the other thing you can do is if these joists are in you know, the wrong area and if it's um, doable, you could move a joist and then double it up and then you know, build in a, um, a boxed in area so that um, the heater would fit into the location that you're looking for. So 
Now that's going to be the big question for this application. So um, this I'm just placing these here as I would if you were to be in the design stage and this is the best option that I could come up with. Um, I'm just going to turn these dimensions back on for a minute and you can see that basically I have these at eight foot centers. And again, this can lights are going to be um, possibly, I don't have the actual uh, placement of each can light, but you can see that these could be a potential issue for the placement of these heaters as well, so that you'd have to decide heater or can light. Um, and that would be it. All right, let's just go ahead and look at the, uh, well, I'm going to turn on the dimension, or excuse me, the uh, clearances real quick just so you can see that. So you need 18 inches of clearance. Above, uh, below each heater inside the uh, flush mount kit and one hour fire rated drywall will maintain the clearance above but out here you need to have 18 inches from this edge of the heater to the uh, any combustible item to the left and then uh, of course it would be 36 inches down below the heater and that's true on all heaters and then we'll go ahead and look at the footprint of heat footprint of heat you can see with this application we're getting a very nice even coverage throughout this whole space okay all right so let's go back over to this location and by the way I didn't mention it these are uh, WD 6024 6000 watt 240 volt heaters and uh, with the flush mount kit and then the uh, contractor installed drywall. All right, let's put that back on top here. All right, over here, what we have is I've basically taken the location of the um, window. Let's see if I can show here. So I've taken this location of the window and I just centered the heater above that window and um, placed it one foot higher than that edge of the window just so that it's uh, visually. Um, hidden let's say from looking out this direction here and um, yeah that's what I had done uh, and then I went from this space or from this point here to center over here 10 feet over and you can see with that we still have the clearances on the side here uh, to next to the wall and that's true with uh, all heaters now Infratech does state that uh, be uh, above a wall mount um, and I don't have this actually on the wall sorry but that would be there where it would go <clears throat> on a wall mount application um, you can use the up to 60 degree tilt down from you know straight out so 60 degrees down and um, the existing uh, or provided wall mount is uh, acceptable you just cannot have anything higher on this uh, this is a CD model you just can't have anything above 12 inches above the heater so that's combustible you need a 12 inch clearance above okay so I think that's about it and I have four of the CD 6024 these are uh, 6000 watt 240 volt and 25 amps a piece and that's true on the other units as well there are WDs however because um, they're a little bit less expensive and they provide the exact same amount of heat and they just you're not going to see the finish of it so that's why I would suggest a nicer looking unit out here where they're attached on a wall versus um, recessed inside of a flush mount kit all right, let's go ahead and look at the uh, footprint of heat. You can see with this application here, um, I am I am at its um, furthest throw. Let's see if I can show it from this point of view. Uh, furthest throw that's really available, but I'm getting overlapping rays. So that should make this space here, even though it's not uh, highlighted here, it should make this space um, warm enough for um, comfort. And this is Southern California, so I think that would be fine. And as far as the overall coverage here, we're getting pretty much all of the space out here. So, <clears throat> all right. Well, if uh, you find this this information useful, please uh, hit that like button. And uh, if you're looking for some assistance with your outdoor heating application, feel free to send us a email to designs at patioheat.com. 
I'm Steve Walton. Thank you very much, and you have a great day.